During the COVID pandemic, almost 4 billion people around the world were suddenly locked down at home, and our demand for food changed dramatically. We were not going to restaurants. We may have been doing some delivery and takeout, but a lot of the food consumption was at home. And it meant that there was a huge shift in how food supply chains operate. Before the pandemic, the average American ate out more than five times a week, spending around half their total food budget. Between February and April 2020, spending on eating out dropped by 48%. Food producers that supply restaurants had a product they couldn't sell. Around half of American agriculture is aimed at hotels, restaurants, cruise ships, schools, eating outside of the home. If you don't have the demand, if that's all gone, what are you gonna do with all your produce? There's only one answer. You're gonna have to dump it. American dairy producers were flushing three million gallons of milk down the drain a day because they couldn't move it. It's a shame to see it go, but what can you do? Now, in Florida alone, you've got millions of tons of vegetables being plowed into the ground, and that's just in Florida. The American fishing industry was even harder hit. Demand for seafood decreased by 70% during the pandemic. Americans eat more than two-thirds of their seafood outside the home at restaurants. During lockdown, consumers chose to forego seafood rather than cook it themselves at home. There was this mismatch between where the demand was, the grocery stores, and where it had been, the restaurant supply chain. And that was, it was very disruptive. If you think of fountain, fountain soda is used a lot in restaurants. That's not what most of the consumers have in their homes. They have the cans or the bottles. So it really was a shift in demand. There was plenty of food available, but it was packaged up in large volumes for wholesale buyers. So restaurant wholesalers might have had large quantities of flour and butter and things when what we really needed were those goods in the grocery stores for people to buy for home consumption. A lot of companies who had prepared in bulk you know, food to be distributed to restaurants had to then it turn around and change the distribution processes. Foodstuffs like cheese, cooking oil, ketchup, or sodas, packaged up in bulk for large-scale buyers, couldn't easily be divided up into individual quantities for home consumers. The processing was not set up for the volume that needed to get to the consumer supply chain, the grocery stores, rather than into what had been the very large restaurant supply chain. 